Hey guys, welcome back to Barry Mulch channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 non-scale victories that you need to make sure you're paying attention to on your weight loss journey. So non-scale victories are huge and if you are on a weight loss journey, it's something to always keep in mind because sometimes the scale does not move and then we get discouraged and then we feel like we're not doing a good job and then a lot of times that can cause you to start doing bad. At least it is in my case. When I start feeling like I'm doing bad, I start actually doing bad. <laughs> so non-scale victories are something that you need to keep in mind if you are on a weight loss journey. The first non-scale victory that I think you should pay attention to is how your clothes are fitting. If they're feeling looser, then something is going on and you need to be proud of that. So pay attention to how your clothes are fitting. If your jeans are feeling like they're getting looser, or your tops are feeling uh, like they're getting looser, a lot of times for me, I can tell in my arms because when shirts fit me really tight, I've got a lot of loose skin and I've got a lot of um, just hang there <laughs> that sounds awful but it's true um i have a lot of hang there from just you know losing weight and then still having a little bit of fat there um and so i can tell when i'm doing really well when my arms that they're not feeling as tight and that's something that i really pay attention to Number two is that your rings will start getting looser and you might have to get them resized. When I was losing a drastic amount of weight, I had to resize my wedding ring like three different times because I was just losing weight so fast. So pay attention to your ring size. Next one is take measurements. Measurements are huge and it's something that a lot of people overlook, but if you take measurements at the beginning of your journey and take them maybe like once a month, you're gonna be really, really happy when you see that maybe the scale's not moving, but you're losing inches. So make sure you take those measurements. Next one is something that I don't think I really cared so much about until after I realized how big of an issue it was, and that's walking upstairs. I didn't realize how winded I was getting until I didn't get winded anymore. So this is a huge non-scale victory for people who have trouble walking upstairs and get really just out of breath. Um, when you get to a certain point, you're gonna start feeling so much better, so much healthier and stronger as you walk upstairs. Better sleep is the next one because I will tell you, I sleep so much deeper, so much better now that I'm not as overweight. I didn't realize that I was having some kind of like sleep apnea um, when I was at my heaviest. I don't know if it was full on sleep apnea, but I used to snore really bad. I would just toss and turn all night long and now I sleep like a rock. <laughs> the next non-skill victory is having more energy. This is something that I just cannot express to you when you get to a certain point on your weight loss journey you will just start feeling so much more energy you're you're going to just feel healthier in general um, but when you have that extra energy you have a lot more um, effort into putting things into your life like working out or just cleaning the house you just you can tell you have so much more energy as you're getting healthier and healthier so more energy i would say is a non-scale victory as well Another non-skill victory is that you will have clearer skin. This is something, again, that I don't think I was prepared for, but I have noticed my skin is so much healthier looking, so much just brighter now that I am a lot more in shape and that I eat healthier. I just feel cleaner and my skin looks cleaner and everything just looks a lot brighter. So having clearer skin, I would say, is a non-skill victory. Crossing your legs. This is something that was really hard for me when I was at my heaviest. And when I started being able to cross my legs comfortably and that was how I was preferring to sit, it was a huge non-skill victory for me. The next one is fitting into an airplane seat or just any kind of chair that you might not have been able to fit in before. Um, this is really, really huge for me because I traveled quite a bit. So when I started being able to fit into an airplane seat and I felt like I wasn't like, you know, <laughs> going into someone else's seat, it was a huge non-skill victory for me. And even just chairs at restaurants, I used to be really nervous to go to places like Cracker Barrel because their chairs just, um, I didn't feel like they were sturdy. But when I got to a certain point, I stopped letting that stress get to me. And that was a huge non-skill victory. And finally, the last non-scale victory would be getting off of any kind of medication that was weight related. I personally was able to get off my medication that I was on for pseudotumor cerebri, and it was a just amazing time for me knowing that I wasn't taking any medication related to my weight anymore. So really, really big accomplishment and something that I think is important to recognize on your weight loss journey. 
So that's it. Those are my 10 non-scale victories that I think are really crucial that you watch for as you're on your weight loss journey because at the end of the day, it's not about that number on the scale. It's about all of these non-scale victories that you're able to do now. Um, you're able to be healthier and happier and you just, you feel it. You feel more energetic. You feel like you're on top of the world. <laughs> so don't let that skill get to you. There are so many more accomplishments out there. Um, that you need to be proud of, that you are doing because you have changed your life. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please leave it a big thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what your favorite non-scale victory is. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.